Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. We've got a bridge queen, cowboy carter, honey bounty king, crunch. Okay, we got a busy duel. This is duel like, um, it's not like the fight, right? It's like two of something. Squat, 2-2. Two, two. You're squatting in a 2-2? Two, two? Okay, I think it seems reasonable. Saloon, spelling, and a gore dip. Mm. Crunch stood out to me, but I'm not sure what goes with crunch. Now, crunch can, can be like, obviously, something that's crunchy. Crunch into it. Crunch can also is also used in industry to mean like you're you're putting an extra time. You're trying to get something done quickly. Busy maybe. That could that could go along with that meaning. But I'm not seeing another meaning of that. Okay. The other thing that stood out to me was tutu. <laughs> um clothing items for dancing. Uh like what else would it be? I don't see anything. Okay. So it might be like a purpley thing. Um Queen, maybe we've got the queen, uh, king. I mean, do we really do we put queen and king together? Maybe, uh, don't really see anything else to go with them, so probably not. Hmm, okay, what's our how do we get in? Duel, wait, gore like Al Gore, Carter, last names of presidents. Well, Gore was a vice president. Who are they, vice president last names? I don't know, in a better world. Al Gore would have been president, but unfortunately he was not. But he was vice president under Clinton. Carter, I don't actually know if Carter was a vice president before he became president. Probably something I should know, but I don't. I don't know vice president last names, though, so maybe I can't quite do that. Queen could be the band. Do I see any other bands? I don't know. <laughs> Kings of Leon? <laughs> no. Um, okay, a bounty and a saloon and a cowboy. Like These are all just like Western things. What else do you find in Westerns? Duels? That would be AL. No. No, I got it wrong. It's dual AL. Is, I got them completely backwards. Okay. Yeah, these are featured in Westerns. I can't believe I, I overcorrected, I think is what happened. Okay, now I, now I, look, now I look dumb. But, uh, okay, I corrected it. There's still going to be people commenting before that, though. Let's see. It's, um, it's not on purpose, but... Those comments do help the algorithm, so thank you. Let's see. I still think busy and crunch might be related, but I don't know I don't know how what else would be related with that. How about honey? Something that's sweet. Something bees make. Honey I don't know. Bridge? Bridge is a card game that you play with in pairs. Hmm. Spelling things ranks is terrible at as as just shown. <laughs> um, I also just did the uh, the Monday crossword for my ranks place crossword uh, account. Uh, yeah, some spelling problems in that one too. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Uh, let's see spelling. It's this was made for me. Things ranks is bad at spelling, squatting, um, dipping. <laughs> Actually, sometimes the jokes help because I think squatting and dipping are both exercises, but. Maybe the bridge, kind of an exercise, like a stretch. Um, the crunch, yeah, crunches. Crunches, squats, dips. I don't know if bridge is right. If there's another exercise, I don't see it. So let's do that. Okay, exercises. <laughs> that was the yellow, of course. I have plus two to purple today, so maybe I'll get the purple before the blue. I don't know. Always down to purple and blue. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. I mean, Carter and Gore are still here. If I was going to be a vice president last name, what would my last name be? Maybe spelling and king? That would leave busy, queen, tutu, and honey. Busy bee, honey bee, queen bee, tutu bee. I think, is there, no, I, it, I don't think Carter bee is a thing. I'm thinking of carpenter bee. I don't know. Let's try this. One away. Okay, so I, I thought I'd be one away, to be honest. Because these are bees. Busy bee, queen bee, honey bee, spelling bee. Oh, duh. Spelling bee. Okay. So that was the purple. I knew I'd get the purple first because I had the, the shirt on. I don't think Tutu is the last name of a vice president, but if it is, that's hilarious and I love it. Uh, I don't know what else this would be, though. So let's, I guess let's find out. Maybe Is it vice presidents? Oh, it's not quite that. Leaders who received the Nobel Peace Prize. Two of them just happened to be vice. Uh, well, Carter, I guess. I don't know if Carter was ever vice president. I just assumed because often that's the way to get to presidencies. your vice president first. 
Gore. Okay, so this is Martin Luther King, probably. Let's look up who Tutu was. Archbishop Desmond Tutu was a South African Anglican cleric and Nobel Peace Prize laureate who was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1984 for his opposition to apartheid in South Africa. Okay. Well, now we know who Tutu was. All right. I Yeah, I, Nobel Peace Prize winners, I don't think I would have thought of that, but luckily I thought of B. Only made one mistake. How'd you do? Hello, let's do the New York Times mini crossword for Monday, April 29th. Let's go. Like hobbits and Oompa Loompas. Short, maybe? Hawaiian island where much of Jurassic Park was filmed. I don't know which island. Maui probably fits though, right? Does Ma Ma No, Maui doesn't fit. I don't know which island then. Blank, we meet again. Five letters though. I'm not sure. Shall, shall we meet again? Baggy pants? Maybe? No. It's baggy to mean baggy. Loose? Uh, I don't know. I, I, think, I feel like a lot of these are wrong, so I'll probably just erase it all. Disney World Headaches. What? Okay, this is confusing. Prop for Hamlet in Alas, Poor York Speech. A skull. Okay, so I think loose is right, but shall is not. All right. Uh, capital of Vietnam. Han Hanoi. How do you... Is it H-O-N-O-Y or is it H-A-N? What's the cross for this? The Hawaiian Island? Oh no, I don't think I know the <laughs> I don't think I know all the island names. It'll come to me. No longer a fan of. I don't know. Salary boost. A raise. Okay. Bananagrams pieces. See, they can say bananagram, but not spanagram. Bananagrams pieces. What is a bananagram? I don't think I'm going to get that. Uh, blank we meet again. Until we meet again. That makes more sense. Disney World headaches. Is this an I? Is it Hanoi an I? I, I can't spell for the life of me, especially place names. Um, but what is this? Disney World headaches. Lines. Ah, gotcha. Bananagrams pieces. Probably tiles then. Uh, no longer a fan of. Out on? Not far off. Is this an A? There we go. Okay, just my spelling. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good. This is a good crossword word. A U A I. How do you even pronounce that? Kawaii. Kawaii. Probably. Kawaii. Okay. Um, skull. I got Hanoi. I I thought it might be an A, but I left the O in. Out on. No longer fan on. Out on. That's a bit of a stretch, but okay. Rays, I got tiles. I guess I guess it uses tiles. They are short. I got that right. The island name. Until we meet again, loose and lines are are definitely annoying in, in Disney World. Yeah, at all theme parks. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, how'd you do? Let's do strands for April 29th. Today's theme is name dropping. Interesting name dropping. Hmm. There's a J here. I don't know what word would probably starts with J, but I don't know. Okay, I think I need to think of what the theme means first. I mean, name dropping has a as an obvious meaning, but it usually isn't the obvious meaning. Although it is Monday, so maybe it's an easy today. Um, seal. Wait. First thing I saw was a real word. Well, I mean, obviously a real word, but like a word part of the theme. Seal. Name dropping. Seal. That doesn't make any sense to me. Lots of M's around here. Momo. Nom. Nomlom. <laughs> Mol molman mol, molman fam fam nom fandom no there's no d I and mean, it also doesn't have an m there okay ripe if seal can be in there i don't know <laughs> I, I still don't get the theme uh spin pink are these singers somehow oh okay so these are people with one name madonna's got to be here that's probably what all these celebrities who have one name how do i spell madonna okay let's look for d's there's a D here. There's not an M close enough. All right, so Madonna's not here. Okay. Is name here? Can I find... Oh, well, name is in the theme. Gosh, I need to think of one name, one name celebrities. That's, that's not my um, Tina. Tina Tina's. <laughs> that's not my forte. Celebrities are not my forte, but I'll do my best. Brand. Brandy. Okay. This J. J-Lo. Pain. Okay, what, what is... 
Is the spanogram ending with this S? I feel like it might be. Ian's. <laughs> um, you know, musicians. Music. No? Oh, yeah. Musicians. That's our spanogram. Okay. We have four more words to find. All I see is Jew. <laughs> so these are musicians' names, I guess? Do they even need to be one name musicians? Oh, Jewel. Okay. And common. Okay. Meatloaf. And prince. I should have thought of prince. Okay. Got it. Not too bad today. Um, I wonder if they had to pick names that were also words, because you're supposed to find words, not names, right? That's interesting. I think all of these are words that are otherwise words, but that also happen to be singer names. That's interesting. Or musician names. Cool. Well, pretty straightforward today. I think people aren't going to have too much trouble unless they just don't quite know the pop culture stuff. I don't know. Let me know how you did.